all right guys how are you today and this is going to be an awesome 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 video because i am super stoked and super excited welcome to my channel and today is going to be a review as uh, it was mentioned in the description it's going to be a review on this new device called desk pro i got this at home today and i'm i can't wait to uh, give you guys a review of it but more importantly i've been looking forward to it uh, because this is one of the most kick-ass device that has uh, that has been created by cisco i have been using the tx80 before uh, but then uh, yeah i had some few reviews around that as well uh, but more importantly i think they have fixed all of that in this new desk pro and uh, i can't wait to show you so let's get on to it immediately all right guys so here is how it looks uh, right a big beautiful device uh, from the first look of it uh, you will actually be amazed at the uh, I would say an LED display that you get to see uh, right up front. The wallpaper that you see is basically my laptop, my MacBook Air, uh, uh, you know, wallpaper that has actually been extended because I've actually connected this USB-C cable out here. Now, as far as the device is concerned, it's a little bigger than uh, the DX80 that was there before. If you look at it, this is, of course, the 27-inch display. But more importantly, this particular uh, gray color uh, cloth clothing over here or the sheet over here is basically the speaker and the microphone all uh, embedded within it. So when I went through the specs is basically saying that there are array of microphones inside that which are directional microphones which essentially means that if you are actually sitting in front of it you only you will be heard and no one beside you will be heard. So that is a that is a kick-ass feature I would say because um, you know there are always people who will keep uh, knocking on your doors and keep coming in so essentially they should not be heard on the video conferencing calls that they have now getting on to more details this basically is the camera here when i got unboxed this i basically got this as close so now when i um, you know when i was enabling myself you they actually prompted me saying hey look your uh, microphone uh, sorry your camera lid is closed you better open it so it's just a slider that they have given vis-a-vis -vis the uh, the dx80 where you had to uh, go anti-clockwise to enable your camera now what are all the other things and the quick uh, beautiful things that i basically noticed so for example this particular stylus you can actually have it has a magnetic holder let me show you that very quickly it has a magnetic holder and you just quickly touch that upon and it sticks on itself now why the stylus this is basically a whiteboarding sort of a device as well so essentially you should be able to uh, whiteboard when you're on the call as well or while you're off the call as well right they've given the uh, volume buttons right on the display over here itself or in the front uh, part of the uh, the device itself so that makes it very easy for me to access one thing that i basically had to search for and to be honest and this more could be a, a feedback to cisco as well that i was actually looking for my power uh, power uh, button and it's actually at the at the back of the unit right vis-a-vis uh, -vis the uh, dx80 it basically used to have it out here now what have they done is basically they've actually uh, created two different um, uh, ports out here one is the 3.5 mm jack let me show, quickly show you that the 3.5 mm jack and the usb right so i'm assuming both of them for are for uh, the headsets right uh, one of them is for the 3.5 mm jack and the other one could be for the uh, bluetooth dongle if you have or wired headset if you have any right so let's basically see how this whole thing operates so uh, like i said i basically connected my laptop now laptop is connected via the usb c i'm using a macbook uh, macbook pro right it automatically detected that there is a device uh, uh, compatible with it and it started extending the screen. I can drag and drop my display onto this beautiful 27 inch device and use this as an extended monitor. Come, uh, it makes a lot of difference. Now when I touch this particular display you will get to see the usual um, uh, I would say the OS or the UI the user interface that is obviously seen in many of the Cisco devices so this is a familiar interface as well of course call whiteboard sharing options and join Webex right uh, currently I've registered this to the cloud but it could have been the uh, CUCM or the call manager on the on-prem version as well right so there are a bunch of options which I had to enable before getting on to my first call now, for example um, if I go into the settings you should be able to see a lot of uh, options here so I had to enable Enable WebEx Assistant. Well, WebEx Assistant is nothing but the, um, you know, you 
uh, the virtual assistant or the AI that they have built in into the room OS or the room operating system for all these devices where you can actually talk to the unit. Facial recognition name labels, this comes right off the cloud. So it will basically show you the uh, name label as soon as it detects your uh, face as well. I had to switch on the virtual backgrounds as well. I'll show you how this, uh, how this looks and especially for our current situation where all of us are working from home, this makes a lot of difference. And of course, the Bluetooth and all the other, um, other uh, features as well. Um, network connection becomes one of the more important ones. Just forgot about that. You can actually connect it via the Ethernet as well as the Wi-Fi, but I chose to go via the Wi-Fi because I have a, a fairly good uh, in internet connection at home. Now, coming to the uh, coming to the self view and coming to the camera of course this is a 4k camera with a 4k display as well so if you have those high quality high resolution content going in so then uh, this becomes the perfect device for uh, that sort of a setup now for example if uh, you know i uh, so since i was using the dx80 i knew that uh, you know the self view is actually there in some corner right on the right hand side corner so i basically was able to see that now this is the self view now as soon as you tap that because i had enabled the virtual background you will be able to see uh, the other options as well for example um, you know the um, the office interface which is the virtual background as well as the uh, you know a good home interior sort of a place as well and of course all of the other options are the blur image none of the bag no backgrounds and this is something that I like so if you have an extended display notice what happens it basically starts pushing in your laptop screen behind you as well now this is something which is which I loved because now I should I, I can actually modify uh, or have custom backgrounds even with this as well right so I can have a beautiful wallpaper going in on my laptop and just extend that out here onto the uh, you know onto the desk pro and uh, next thing you know you should be able to uh, see the uh, see the desk pro basically having cu custom backgrounds as well so uh, you know so we'll probably uh, touch upon that a little later let me just get this off to a good quality background and I'm done over here now let's get on to the first call itself right so the calling becomes very very simple uh, all that I have to do is basically hit the call button and just if I remember any numbers or any meeting IDs I can basically get that done the whiteboarding uh, we can we can probably touch upon that later now they have actually given a very big shortcut for Webex itself an easy one so I can hit that it understands that since the device is registered under my name this is my meeting ID I go ahead and click that and the minute you uh, click that it basically start shooting into uh, the Webex call itself right and it got into my personal room on Webex and I can wait for people to join in once they join in on my laptop I can actually basically click that join meeting button there and I can start sharing the screen from the word go right and of course the bunch of options which come in as part of Webex I'm not going to give you uh, a tutorial on that I've done it already in my previous videos now uh, what are the other things that are possible in this and one of the key USBs of this particular unit if you see is I can actually use this USB-C cable that you see on my laptop and open up multiple other applications as well. Now, for example, I basically have this Microsoft Teams application open out here. Let me just quickly stop this reminder, right? So I have this um, Microsoft Teams application open out here and when I'm actually making that call, uh, or if I'm getting on to a meeting, I can basically tell the Microsoft Teams that look, in your settings, I since I'm connected via the USB-C, and let me show you that very quickly, I go under devices, and I basically say the speaker and the microphone will be from the Desk Pro. So what does that mean? That means basically that whenever I initiate a call from my Microsoft Teams or my Google Hangouts or my uh, Skype for Business client or be it any other client for that matter, the camera will be the Desk Pro camera and the microphone and the speaker will be from my Desk Pro. Now, I don't have to leverage on the uh, standard definition camera of my laptop. I can actually use the high quality quality uh, camera the speaker and the microphone right from my desk pro itself now I don't uh, while I'm continuing on my work on my laptop but my quality on the on the video call will be much more enhanced because I'll be connecting via the uh, 4k camera of my of my uh, desk pro right so uh, so along with this particular device of course we have the HDMI's we have the um, you know the USB cable coming in as well and of course uh, how can I forget the key USB of this particular device is of course the whiteboard and you can do that on the call or you can do it off the call I basically say let's click on the whiteboard and let's see how it works so I took the stylus which is stuck to the right hand side and uh, 
I basically start writing, um, you know, what is important right now as part of uh, as part of this video, right? So if you like what you see um, and if you like my videos as well, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you should be able to see more videos coming in in these fashion as well. Right? All right, so with that, I would like to wrap up. This has been a very quick review on the uh, on the review on the Cisco, the new Cisco Desk Pro, which I got. I'm really happy. I'm going to be uh, taking a lot of calls on this. Now, if you have any questions, uh, do drop in your comments. If you like this video, go ahead and click on that like button. I'll probably uh, make some more videos on this as and when I explore this particular device a little more. And of course, not to forget, if you like all my videos, if you're liking the concept and the uh, context, the way that I have been actually trying to make these videos on the topics that I have been making these videos on, go ahead and subscribe that and you'll get notified as soon as I make the next video. Until then, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys.